now let's start working right in the on press okay take this down in here so the first thing that we will create right in here user class in here type user we're gonna assign the on authentication I think we didn't define the authentication first let me just see right at top In here we didn't define it okay so first we're gonna just create our instance firebase auth okay right in that we will say final and then firebase auth we're gonna name this as auth authentication and we will assign firebase auth dot instance so we have successfully created that instance as you guys can see right in here and we just assign that right in the auth now let's go and use that go down right in here I'm gonna have that on that we just read it right above and we will say current user okay it's gonna be simply authentication for the current user and we just assign that right in this type user now move further in here we will say final and we're gonna create the UID and this and we will assign the user you know, check with their specific UID okay we just assign that user with the specific UID right in this UID and it's going to be private as you guys can see the underscore right at start now we're going to check if that UID that we just created is that equal to the widget dot uploaded by then only in that case and it's simply in that if that UID is equal to the same current user who is going to be online and uploaded by only in that case what we will do we will say try call the braces take this down now right in there we will create a instance right to the firebase firestore so dot instance right to the collection of jobs let me take this down from here so that you guys can see it easily so in here string and we are making that instance as you guys can see right in here firebase firestore right to the collection of jobs now take this down in here with the specific document okay we will say widget dot specific job id for that current user who's going to be online we will check that and we're going to simply update the document for that job ID that we will checked so in here curly braces and write in there string then write recumen then outside the string in here colon and then we will say true we will update that okay write in the collection of jobs as I explained before and I hope you can get the idea now that what we are doing in here let me also show it to you right in the Firebase database so it's gonna be more clear open the browser and here we go with the Firebase Firestore database here we are as you guys can see in here we make an instance right to the Firebase Firestore as you guys can see right in here okay right to the collection of jobs so in here there are two kind of job that we uploaded before okay so right in here what we just update if the user will press on the on text button that we just created okay I'll show you the output just in a while we didn't run the app yet I'll just show you how it will work whenever the user will press on the on button it's gonna update the recruitment right in here okay let's go back to the app so that's why in here we made a instance as you guys can see right in here okay right to the firebase firestore right to the collection of jobs 
and we're gonna check also with the specific document okay as you guys can see right in here widget dot specific job ID we're gonna check that for the current user who's gonna be online and only in that case we're gonna update the requirement to true whenever the user will press as you guys can see right in here on press event whenever the user will click on that it's only then it will set the requirement to true and it's gonna be updated right inside the collection of jobs right in the firebase firestore I hope you can get the idea now more clearly now let's move further we will say if it's catch and error right in here we'll say catch if it's catch and error then call the browser right in there what we will do we will have that global method that we just created right in the previous videos okay global method we will say that dot show error dialog and we're gonna show the text so we will take this down from here and the ctx contacts gonna be down in here so the message gonna be action cannot be performed if there is gonna be any error only in that case we will show that text and contacts in here comma I'll just find in here semicolon so there's gonna be the working of if as you guys can see right in here now below this curly braces we're gonna have the else curly braces if there will be any error if it's not run the if then we will run this else and right in there we will simply have the global method or show error dialog and in here take this down in here comma and in here semicolon so the message that we will show it's gonna be you cannot perform this action now in here contacts all just fine now down in here we will just call upon the get job data the method that we just created before it is going to get the job data that's why we call upon that right in here now the last thing that we will do just to set the opacity okay if the requirement gonna be equals to true then we will show right in if one and if the requirement is gonna be false then we will show zero so what we will do below this text button right in here we will say opacity there we go I'm gonna take this down from here in here comma and we will remove that and we will say right in here procurement there we go with the suggestion is that equal to true because it's an on button the requirement must be true okay only in that text button because we are implementing that for the on and the requirement gonna be equals to true so only in that case we will say if we will show one only if the requirement will be equals to true we will show one otherwise we will show zero in here comma and let's have the icon for that so child icon and icons we will say there we go we'll go with that check check box that one or you can choose whatever you want right in here I'll go with this one all just fine as you guys can see right in here put comma and take this down now let's have the color for that it's gonna be more looking good so the color that we will go to the on text button it's gonna be green 
you guys will notice that just in a while we will run the app now all the working for the on tax button okay has been completed now what I'll do just to remove those yellow lines the code will be clean then at the cost modifier also this tax and with this icon add the cons modifier now let's just go and auto load the app so we are on the job screen now we will go towards the job details screen clicking here and there you go with the on and as you guys can see right in here the check box okay with the green color I will give right in here as you guys can see okay check box green color icon so all the working has been done and you guys can see the result right in here and you guys can see it's already checked just click on that okay it's already checked from before but right in the next video whenever we will create another text button for the off there's gonna be that text button also right in the row on the right side in here and there is gonna be the check with a red color then we can simply change this to the off and on you guys will notice the requirement then okay and we will check it for now we just implement the text button for the on as you guys can see right in here we can't just pass the check to the other text button because we didn't implement the other text button for the off right in the next video we will work on that and the last thing that i will show and first let me tell you right in here if the requirements gonna be green check right in here then the requirement will be equal to true let me show you that right also in the firebase so there is the first job that we just open right in the app okay that one so right in here that requirement it's from the start we set it to true okay so that's why in here you guys can see the true and right in the app the requirement was already we set to on and there was that green checked so right in the next video whenever we will complete the text button for the off and we're gonna on and off the requirement and you guys will notice the changes okay if it's gonna be off there will be false and if it's gonna be on there will be true okay so I hope you can get the idea now and it's working totally fine let's go back to the Android studio and this video is getting a little lengthy so we will work on the other text button right in the next video so see ya